Hello vlog. So I haven't done this in a really long time because I've been so busy with school, but I'm leaving to go study abroad for a month in Madrid and I'm leaving on Saturday. So before I went, I did a major shopping haul. I came home to California and I basically just took advantage of having my car here and I just drove around and I did a ton of shopping. But um, <clears throat> I went to Santana Row and then I went to Valley Fair, which my Bay Area girls know, and I went to Stanford Shopping Center and I got a ton of crap. And honestly, these days, I kind of like to do shopping in like once in the summer and once in the winter. And I think it's so satisfying because I just save up a bunch of money and then I blow it all at once. But I also am strategic. Like I think about what I need before and I make a list. So like very specifically, I wanted like summer clothing, but also clothing that I could wear like at BC in the fall when it's hot because it stays really hot at BC, like through like mid-October, um, like through September to October. So I need like clothing that I can wear a class that's going to be like um, versatile for that weather. I have plenty of cold weather clothes, but like no summer clothes. So let's get started with the haul. I'm going to bring this stuff in. So just wait. So it's definitely fair to say I did some damage. So, and I think I'll make this a try on, but for right now, I'm just going to run through um every item what it costs where it's from and then i'll put links in the description and i will do a try on at the end and then i'll insert those clips so first i went to nordstrom i wanted some sneakers for walking around while i'm abroad something that's like comfortable so i don't really have a lot of converse but i got these converse they're like high tops but they're like low well they're actually they're not high tops they're platform low top um, and these I believe were $70 so they were super reasonably priced and I think they'll go great with like any sundress, skirt, shorts, whatever for your up. And I could just wear them even during the school year I maybe make those like my party shoes or whatever. I got some sandals so like if I want to go out to dinner be a little bit more fancy. I got these sandals. I think they're so cute. This is what they look like. They have this like gold buckle in their straw. Um, and also this is like very padded material and I have wide feet, so not a lot of shoes fit me, but these did fit. And my mom bought the same ones, which is super cute. And these were $79, I believe. So that's that for Nordstrom. Next, when I was at the mall, basically my phone has been kind of like glitching out a lot. But I took it to the Apple store and they said it's more than fine. Um, but basically I wanted to get a good case before I went abroad because I do drop my phone the majority of the time. And they were having a sale at Casetify. So I got this case. I'll show it to you guys. It said, put down your phone of yours and love me the way you used to. And there's like this cool little disco ball. And the coolest thing about these cases is like, basically they don't carry all the designs in every like size and store. But what you do is you basically like pick your design and then they print it on the case that fits your phone. So they printed this in store, which is super cool. Um, and this was $47. Um, next I went to Madewell and usually I don't get a lot of matching stuff with my mom, which is why I think this is funny, but um, she graciously bought me this pair of sunglasses, which was really nice, and she did not have to do that. But she's going to Bottle Rock, and she wanted some, like, black sunglasses, and she bought, like, a black cowboy hat to go with it. Um, but I really liked these sunglasses. So hers have a gold rim, and mine just have a black rim. But I recently lost my, like, Aviators Ray-Bans. Um, but I just got these, which I feel like are a good replacement. And these were also $70. There seems to be... Actually, they were... $69.50 so there seems to be a little bit of a $70 trend going on here but that was really nice thanks mom next I went to Gorgiana which is like one of my favorite either Gorgiana or Missouri is like one of my favorite jewelry boutiques um I guess they're not a boutique they're a chain but I got these really cute earrings they're these little chain earrings and they're like studs in the back so the chain like connects to the backing and then you attach it I don't know whether to wear in like my first piercing or my second piercing, so I will take suggestions on that. Um, and I believe these were $47.50. I went to Gap, which is honestly an unexpected sleigh, but my mom had these great linen pants from there. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just check out Gap, see what it's all about. You guys will not believe how much I got this dress for. It looks like this. It's so cute. Um, it literally was $32. It's originally like $35, I think. Oh, it was risen 39 I got it on sale for 35 and then I had three dollars off apparently through like my gap account but it's like almost like a baby doll dress and indeed it does have pockets which usually I'm actually kind of against pockets when it comes to clothing because um <clears throat> I just think that they kind of like look make the dress look bulkier but 
for $32. That's like the cutest dress. And it's really soft. And it's like somehow thick so you can't see through the white but also like airy at the same time. So I really, really like that. And hopefully I can find the link to it because <clears throat> I would definitely recommend it for people. Next, I went to Aritzia, which absolutely breaks my bank account every time. If you know, you know, I used to work there. Um, and I really missed my 40% off discount. But I got this really cute, it's just like a very basic tube top with like a scalloped edge and a sweetheart neckline. Um, and it's like light gray, I think, but it almost looks like, what does it say? It says peppercorn gray. It almost looks like a tiny bit blue or purple to me, but this was $68. And then I got this top from their Sunday Best collection. It was also $68. I got it in an extra small. It's this like square neck little blousey top with these um, puffing puff up sleeves and it looks really cute. So both of those tops I could definitely wear with, um, with like white jeans. I got this really cute pair of white jeans from them over spring break. So I feel like both of those will go well for if it's a little chillier with like the sandals and stuff. And then finally from Aritzia for $30, this is also an extra extra small. I got this little white tank top. I had one of these in light blue and I wore it to death. Like the strap literally just snapped off after I wore it for like two or three years in a row. But thankfully they still make this model. Um, it's basically I saw a TikTok of this girl saying that if you're in Europe and you want to wear like shorts with a little like um button up shirt that's open over it like you're better off if you get like a small little like bralette almost like tank top to wear underneath so you don't get too hot um and that spoke to me so so i got this so that's it for aritzia and finally the last sleigh is we have h&m <clears throat> so first off i got this purse um i really wanted a crossbody for going abroad just because my friend said that this was definitely a good option. This was $24.99 and it's super cute. It has these two pockets. This one can probably fit a phone in it. Um, definitely looking forward to using that. Next, what is this? Oh, I got a black linen shirt um, just to throw over that white bralette. And when I was in Europe, when I was like 14, all I did was wear my white button down tee. So I decided to get this linen in black and white. It's literally the same color or the same style. Um, that's what it looks like. Where I'm going to wear it open and I'm just going to sort of like roll the sleeves up to like about here. And the price on these were $29.99. Also, I pulled up a Gabe Brenner by getting like two of the same color in the same style because my dad always does that. Um, but honestly, like it works. It works. So next I got these shorts. They're very like stretchy, but they're also on the longer side because I feel like a lot of my shorts like ride up and then I'm self-conscious about it. So I really like these, but these, this is what they look like. They're just like almost like crinkly material. They seem like linen, but my mom said there's a different name for it. I don't know. These are $19.99. I got them in tan and I also got them in white. That's what they look like super super cute also i just went to nordstrom and got these pants for 39 dollars on sale um and they're just white linen pants which i was like really hoping to get but i didn't find yesterday so i picked them up on my way to pick my mom up from work so i will insert a clip right here of the pants and then last but not least i got two pairs of sunglasses which in retrospect look the exact same Probably should have picked one, but I do oftentimes lose my sunglasses, so that's how I'm justifying it. Like, this is one of these pairs I leave at home to be my backup pair. Um, but these ones were $12.99. This is what they look like. It's giving. It's giving European summer. Um, and then these ones, they reminded me of, like, I think it's, like, the Versace with the gold on this side. These were $14.99. I should probably rip this tag off there we go but this is what they look like so kind of more like a little bit more stylish i feel like these ones like i'm obviously not gonna wear it like up here because i look psycho but i would like wear them down here um so these are more like style these are more like protection from the sun um so yeah that just about wraps up my haul um i had one other dress that i got i got the white jeans from aritzia when i was in dallas 
And I also got that black sundress. That was in another one of my vlogs. I did like a haul inside my vlog. So both of those will also be coming with me. And then I just have a couple of like little shorts that are like white and blue and then a couple of black and white tank tops that will also be coming with me. And I'm definitely taking my vlog camera and my digital camera so I can take pictures and videos while I'm there. But I'm super excited to go to Madrid. Um, so definitely subscribe if you want some summer content. And thank you so much for watching and leave a comment below. Bye. Thank you.